Hello, it's Irvathen. In today's video, we are once again going to discuss Star Citizen of a 3.18, and I will talk about five no-nos that you should absolutely avoid doing in this patch. Let's get to it. So, Star Citizen of a 3.18 is introducing a lot of changes to the game, obviously including Persis and Entity Streaming and the Cargo Refactor, which now physicalizes everything, and so these changes mean that we need to adapt to the new paradigm that we've just entered, and this includes being aware of some pitfalls that might not necessarily have been pitfalls in the past, and so in this video I am going to talk about five no-nos that you must absolutely know in order to avoid being in problems in Star Citizen. Number one, bed logout with a full cargo hold. I think that you have to be really careful right now with bed logout because with persistent entity streaming, while you may disappear out of the game, your ship and what remains inside will persist, leaving them vulnerable to any opportunistic explorer like myself here, as you can see in the footage. On top of that, if you decide to bedlog near a place where there might be some traffic, like an outpost, or even worse, a drug lab, then for sure there will be people who will seize the, seize the opportunity and take your containers on themselves, leaving you with a rude awakening when you will return. If you are carrying cargo, you must safely return to a station or a landing zone. It is the best way that you can secure your investment. Number two, trade without an escort. And because cargo is now physicalized, it can be taken by anyone who destroys your ship. Sure, it may not be all of the containers, but the containers left would be acquired at no cost, so those would still be a net gain for anyone who would get their hands on those. Alpha 3.18 has never been this dangerous for traders and never been this profitable for explorers and pirates. So if you decide to go out there and hit the train lanes, come prepared or you might end up having some bad surprises once you leave the outpost's tiny armistice zones. Number 3. Salvage near Lagrange stations. In the PTU, one of the best ways to make money was to take a ship with a cargo hull, grab a multi-tool with a tractor beam, and rob the, multi the multiple vultures that you would find at the Lagrange points. And sure, there was the possibility of getting a crime stat, but the money made of RMC, or Recycled Material Composite, was so good that it compensated the hassle of having a crime stat. Nowadays, there are still explorers who roam the Lagrange points looking for salvagers, and while the wrecks are not as numerous as they used to be at those Lagrange points, it is still possible to find an occasional ship part or a small wreck, and because of the proximity of the local stations, these are easy locations to find for anyone not interested in salvaging. Anyone interested in salvaging at the Lagrange points are, is therefore advised to fly away at long distances far enough to stay out of the scanning range of any random marauder. Number 4. Not scanning ships. With cargo containers now being physicalized, any cargo hauler can potentially be a big money maker for anyone willing to seize the right opportunity at the right time. But how can you know if a ship is carrying any valuables? Well, you need to use its dedicated scanner, which you can use by pressing the V key. Keep pressing the left mouse button until the scan is complete and you will get a detailed description of what it contains. If it contains any valuable commodity, you might as well decide to spend the time to seize those containers for yourself, which is what happened here on stream, where I found a cutlass filled with 46 standard cargo units of Laronite. So if you see a ship that can call cargo in a verse and you're looking for any money-making opportunity, use your scanner and decide for yourself if you're going to get a nice pay there or not. Number 5. Not returning to the location of your death. Star Citizen of 3.18 physicalizes and makes everything persist, including your corpse, your wrecks, and your cargo. If you have been gunned down with a cargo full of valuables, it will take some time for your attacker to load everything into their ship. Always try to come back with a stronger vessel and load out to see if you can return the favor and eventually recuperate your containers. Here, someone had stolen my cargo containers I had stolen earlier, but I came back with a Corsair, leaving him no choice but to flee with his inferior cutlass. 
Then I returned to my wreck and I found that indeed not all of the boxes had been taken. While I, I was then able to put them back into my ship and leave the area. Sure, it, I did not make as much as I would have had if I hadn't been robbed, but if I had not returned, then I would have been left empty-handed, which would have been worse. Always remember that the lesser gain is better than no gain at all. And that is all for this video, but let me know in the comment section down below what would your advice be for Star Citizen 3.18? What do you think players should avoid to do at all costs? I would be very interested to read your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for making it to the end. If you liked this video, please let me know with a thumbs up and don't hesitate to share it with your friends if you think that it was helpful for them. Also, a big shout out to all of my Patreon and YouTube members, including Dr. Frobin, Zero Crusher, Wolf by Pug, and Deplorable Female for making this video possible. I have been Iran, and I will see you guys later.